Hello friends, once again welcome to the automation revolution. In this video, we will learn about Macaronics concept design. Actually, Macaronics concept design is used for uh, 3D and virtual uh, simulation. So while we are uh, interfacing uh, OPC server with the PLC and from the PLC, we want to send the data into a particular uh, object and how this object will uh, move in real time. So that we can see in uh, 3D virtual animation uh, with this designing software. So here we are using this uh, Siemens Annex software and in this Annex software uh, we designed uh, 3D model and particular this object uh, movement we can see, uh, see, see uh, from the data. So particular this object while uh, we will assign a, uh, say a PLC data or PLC signal and you can uh, give uh, any uh, bit with this different object and uh, from this data you can see the virtual animation in this Annex software. So first of all, uh, we'll configure uh, Siemens PLC in this Semantic Manager and uh, we'll configure this OPC server. If you don't know about uh, how to configure OPC server, so you can see our previous video. In our previous video, we have seen how to configure this OPC. And uh, in this PLC, I have made a simple program. So one start and stop bit and uh, on digital input i136.0 and from this both the bit i will make this bit q136.0 motor on off so this uh, three variables we will configure in the opc and from the opc we will send data into uh, annex software so now i will open this opc so you can see in the opc server uh, we have taken three parameters in monitoring window and you can uh, see the data right now the all three bits value is uh, false means zero and uh, this data will be sent into uh, annex software so once again we will come into annex and now we will go for this external controller and uh, we will select this opc client parameters so from the opc we will select this uh, three param parameters and uh, from this parameter we will assign a particular uh, object wise this bit. So I will select this OPC semantic net. So downside we will uh, we'll get the parameters which we used in PLC programming. So you can see this motor start stop and one of three bits we are getting here. So select all the bit and OK. Now we will uh, go for sig OPC signal mapping. So this part, uh, different uh, uh, object has its own name and uh, particular this object while wise I will assign uh, this OPC tag. So upside you can see uh, here we have selected this OPC tag. So all three uh, motor on off and start stop bit uh, we have used. So I want to use this motor bit and uh, downside I will assign this tag particular th to this object so this is object name and I will assign this motor bit for the movement of this object and press ok now I am reading the data from the PLC and uh, as per that PLC data this object will move so currently we have used this object and uh, I have assigned uh, this parameter to this object so this object will move uh, as per the signal coming from the PLC so now uh, you can see uh, right now this motor bit is off and I will send the data from the PLC and uh, from the OPC it will send to NX so now uh, I will press this play button so now we are in monitoring view and I am sending the data from PLC. So now you can see I am sending the data from the PLC and this object is moving as per the beat. So when I am sending the uh, data uh, 1, so that time you can see this beat is on and now I will make the speed off from PLC and uh, this object will move as per the signal. So this is how we can uh, send the data from 
PLC to OPC server and OPC server will be used for different application like MCD concept and other uh, designing softwares. So thank you very much for watching the video.